All right. The AFC North 2021 predictions and preview will start off with the Baltimore Ravens. We're going to talk about your boy here. Good old Lamar Jackson. I mean, he he didn't play great last year. He has caught COVID twice in the last, what, like 10 months, 9 months, whatever it is. Things have not been great, but big things are expected. Win total here sits at 11 and it is juiced to the over at minus 120, under is minus 110 to win the division. They are number one in that regard, plus 125 to win the AFC, to represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. They are plus 600 to make the playoffs. Yes, minus 350 to plus 250. They are projected favorites in 15 games, and their projected strength of schedule, it is the eighth most difficult slate in the NFL this season. They went under their win total in 2020, but they had two straight overs prior to that. The the number was set, like, ridiculously high last year. Lamar Jackson, yeah, Lamar Jackson has won an NFL best 81% of his games since he took over the starting job, which is just absurd. First team to lead the NFL in point differential in two straight seasons, so that is a positive sign. They have the toughest second-half schedule in the NFL. Seven of their last nine games were against 2020 playoff teams. Now, obviously... This is all preseason. We get that. Dropped to 11th DVOA offense from number one in 2019. The passing game last year dropped from number one in 2019 to the number 17 offense last year. This season, they were, or this past season, they were ranked highly in a lot of luck categories. They fumbled the most, but they also recovered 75% of their own fumbles, which was also number one in the NFL. They allowed the lowest opponent field goal percentage, which is... Not something that you can duplicate. Like, it's just, it's up to the other team whether or not they can hit their uh, their field goals. They faced the top five easiest schedule last year. This year, they've got the fifth the toughest against EPA offenses. So you're going to be going up against teams that can actually score this year. I have got the Ravens going under the 11, but only because I've actually got them 11 and 6 when I went through the schedule. I, I still think they're going to be great. My biggest thing right now is they are dealing with so many injuries with their wide receiver core. And I think the teams have figured out some of the running stuff that they're doing. I I do believe they're going to be really good. I think they're going to make the playoffs. I think they're going to, they will actually probably have playoff success this year because I think they're built more for it. But I think that this team got tired of winning in the regular season and they're looking at it the same way that Tom Brady and whatnot used to, where it was like, this doesn't matter. What matters is January, February. I, I feel like that's the situation. So I'm, I'm going under. It's not a bet I'm going to make, yeah, but, right. you know, what's, uh, what's your, your feel on this team? I was shocked that the number was 11. I think that's really high, and uh, for, especially for teams that just perennially don't, don't do that. I, I got this team 10-7, and seven, so I'm going under as well, but it's not a knock on them. That I is shocking really to me. Yeah, like, I think they're really, really good, and, and I think their schedule's tough. I, I think I'm with you. Their receiving core is not going to be there. The start of the season, I don't think. Yeah, the whole I don't bunch. Know what all, yeah. I don't know what their offense is going to look like at all. Greg Roman's going to have to be a hell of a coordinator to uh, to figure this thing out. So, you know, he, I think Lamar's great. I love Lamar. I think he's really, really, really talented. But he can't do it on his own. Now, I do think the defense is going to be real good. Yeah, I mean, maybe, it always is. Maybe the best in the league. And, and, and so, you know... Can he can he win some lower scoring games? Probably, definitely. I trust him to do that. I just think man, eleven wins a lot. That's a big number. Most teams, if you give me double digit totals, it's rare that I'm going to go over. And I don't know that I have any time this year so far. It's just hard. The NFL is hard. Even if I think you can win twelve games, doesn't mean I'm I'm willing to make a bet that you're going to. Yeah, you know, if I'm I mean, off I, or if you get upset one time, I've lost the bet or or, or my miracle is pushing. So. That's look not a at, good wager. Look at this. If they lose Lamar Jackson for like two games, say he gets dinged up or yes. something like that. Like oh. who they got Trace McSorley, who is not playing right now. He's out with a back injury. Like he's not going to play the rest of the preseason. And then who's I don't even remember who the other guy is. So like their quarterback situation ain't great. So, you know, it, one injury can can derail a win total like crazy. It doesn't mean they're not good. It just means Crazy things happen, and if you think he's just going to win. be an injury. He shit his pants last year and missed, like, a huge section of the Browns game. I wish he'd have missed the rest of the game because he came back and won that game after yes. he shit himself. 
Yes, yes. We were we were kicking their ass and be damned. And then he came back. <laughs> he poop his pants and <laughs> back and beat it. That's that's more embarrassing for us than them, by the way. Yeah, yes, you were probably right. You were probably right. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.